Hi guys, it's me again. Meow, meow, cha cha, meow, meow. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a really cool kind of makeup tutorial, but first I wanted to show you kind of a neat. I don't know, I was going through some stuff today and I found my old uh, fire dancing stuff, but I also found these. So I'm going to be doing a video with these. They actually take double A's, it's kind of crazy, and when they spin, they are really cool, so they're they're like a great little alternative if you don't want to spin fire, but you want to have like, they look like fans, I think, that was really cool, so I might go ahead and try to film myself at the Leather Strip concert uh, with those, and this is old copper wire from when I used to make my own uh, poi, actually, and that's right, I made my own poi, and here they are. <laughs> Uh, these actually had three handmade wicks on them. They were pretty sick. And same kind of effect when they would turn, or when I would spin them, they'd have kind of a, like a fan effect when they went fast enough. So, anyways, I have not, <laughs> I have not, have not hit myself in the face before. I, you kind of get used to the length. You know where to avoid the longer you go. This one slipped down. So I might actually re, uh, renew these and take them out on the beach. Not sure what the fire dancing policy is anymore. I think they pretty much nixed most of it, so it's been really difficult for some people to actually spin fire. And I got this really cool little bag from, I think this is from Sports Authority. I like this little bag because it doesn't uh, collect sand. It just kind of, the sand slips right off of it and it's got the front pocket for like batteries and stuff. Anything that, you know, you can lose really easily. Speaking of losing really easily, I thought I had lost this. This is cool for a drum circle. Like the one in uh, St. Pete, you can actually wrap this around your ankle and it makes a ton of noise. This thing's incredible. I have literally, I don't know, you don't need a drum, you know? I wanted to contribute to the noises or the music of the drum circle without, you know, having to do too much. I think this is my belly chain, yep. I went all out, man. I even found my old uh, little, like, teddy bear design earrings that kind of jingle, too. And this is a belt, so I could probably do some fire dancing with all this stuff on, if I am allowed. I still need to check on the rules, because you never know. And then, of course, this lovely thing. I actually saw a lady making one that I really want to buy that's got uh, bells on the ends. So, you know, I, we'll see how that goes. I don't even know how much it is, but come to the beach with money. I never go out on the beach with money, so I never have cash on me, but it seems like she would only uh, take cash. This goes... You guessed it, right here. It's really rad. When you start kind of moving, if you do any like chest jiggling, God forbid, this is cool. And I've seen women use it as kind of a veil. So, but uh, not really that comfortable. I have tried to use it as like a crown before and pinned it. it works somewhat, um, but you know, it mostly, I think it goes there best. But yeah, that's this is my beach bag. And uh, when I get everything working, we'll shoot a couple of cool little videos and maybe some tutorials on how to do some basic poi dancing because man I'll tell you that stuff you learn poi you're pretty much set to go on the calorie burning scale you know stuff's amazing you can do it for hours alright so I'm going to do what I like to call well, let's see electric blue or teal uh, kind of a look I use this for uh, I don't know for the club mostly um, I'm known for it actually, so I thought I would just do something really fun. I'm again just going to do my basic foundation again today, so it's not like I'm doing foundation for eight hours and like, oh my god, just get to the video. Uh, I also don't cut my videos because I still don't know how. I have asked numerous people how to do so. I understand that there's the Adobe, uh, I understand there's Photoshop and all that, and there's a bunch of editing equipment out there, but as much as I know about servers, I actually do not know a thing about editing, so if anyone wants to subscribe first, you must subscribe first, I'm just kidding, uh, and let me know how y'all are chopping up your videos or what kind of software you're using, it would be greatly appreciated. I just bought a Canon Elf Power Shot because I really like my old one, even though it's only 12 megapixels. I'm filming on my tablet right now. By the way, I put way too much uh, foundation on, so I'm going to use my Kabuki brush. I spoke about this yesterday. As my, as my main finishing tool. Actually, since I did put excess on, let's go ahead and brush it on my neck. No harm, no foul, you know? Mm -hmm. 
make the lips as invisible as you can and let's just go ahead and get started with this teal kind of thing. I might do a lighter version of it since I'm trying to go to work today. If I do it too heavy, hey, it was worth it. You know, I'll just wash it off and put on my regular makeup. Once again, I, oh, and here's the palette I'm going to use. There's not a lot of videos on this palette. I have checked. There is one with a really cool gal, kind of, she's more light on her makeup. So this is, this is a really nice palette if you want to just go like all out and like freak out. And also I like to combine it with Milani, which is this teal that I have. And sometimes I will use this guy, which is my Master Drama Chromatics by Maybelline. It's really good. And in fact, it needs a sharpening because, you know, I have used it that much. You know, you always know you're doing well when you need to sharpen your stuff a lot. So I think I've done quite well. And then I'm going to use a purple kind of lipstick. I tried to upload my uh, hair video of how I did the whole front to back blonde. Uh, but if you want to see something on that, just go to Battelle Skater. She'll show you how to dye the front part of your hair. And then, like, literally, I just brushed the other color through the back so simple as that uh, simple as that I'm gonna use this for my lips which is oh let's see scandal eyes really really good good lip base stays on forever if once again you know using eyeshadows for lip bases I'm sure it's fine for the skin I haven't heard anything to that difference about yay or nay so all right I'm at six minutes here so here we go I'm gonna groom my eyebrows just like that Use my little eyebrow filler, which I love. Love this thing. I'm really glad I bought the light color, though, because I do not know how to draw exact lines on my face. I actually use it to fill in my lip color a little. It's a little bit oily, but man, it really does fill in great. Um, I put uh, my foundation on my lids, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. I might grab just a little bit more, just to make them a little bit more uh, easy to work with. This foundation is incredible. It is this thing. Alright, so if you are wondering what I'm using and saying it's so incredible, sometimes I, I love when people say, this is really the best thing I've ever used. I'm just like, what? What is it again? Because it was like so bad again. Alright, so purple lipstick first. Just line a hair outside of your lips. Not more than that. Not that I'm trying to like tell you guys what to do, but... You got big old lips, which I have and have. that are not very defined. Ladies, do not wish for things you don't have. Because you might get the other version, you know. Yeah. Big old big lips that I don't know what to do with half the time. Uh, you, Urban Decay. little tiny sampler that came with that. And uh, I'm just going to push that in. Push it in to the lip just a little bit and uh, 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 it's a little bit gothic looking I do not like to put black on my lips another thing about big lips you cannot get that black going on I don't care what you do all right this liner put that oops all right Ugh. don't rub your eyes this way blot blot all right blue liner on the bottom just to really highlight the attributes of my face. Okay, and then right on the inside corner. You do not have to be perfect with this look. This is one thing I really like about this and why I insist on doing it when I go clumming. It is fast. Once again, I got my apron on so I can kind of go a little bit faster because I don't have to switch brushes. And you can also wipe brushes off. All right, teal on the top. Nice kind of brushed, quick teal. Okay, this brush is great. Double-sided. You can get it at Walmart. I believe it's part of the Nature Brush Collection. Go ahead and brush the teal on the top on the other eye. I do this because I do not have huge eyes. Teal on the top in a powder form, and then this black, uh, this liquid stuff on the bottom, oh, sorry, over the top of it works really well. Now I'm going to just fill in the gap here with a little bit more because remember this is club club looks can be a little more outrageous and also it gives me an outline of where my crease is since I have a little bit more skin there than I would want normally okay so just fill that out then next take your blue shadow and by the way the teal I use is teal way over here and the blue I'm using is right there 
real electric blue and then just dust that over the top. And that's really all you have to do. Once you do that, you are golden. You have your blue and all your other shades kind of going. Now is a good time to kind of blot the brush a little bit when you go back and forth and then just kind of go back and forth and blend it in. I put it all over the lid and I do not define the lid further than that. I sometimes will brush along the bottom to give myself just that little bit more of a smoke. All right? And then when I'm done, which I technically am, I put the... Uh, you can put a highlighter on top. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not used to using highlighters. Uh, right? And this guy, just brush it over the top. like this and in order to not make this video go too long I'm going to end it here because that is the last step really close up there see how that kind of made them pop if you want to you can always brush a little bit on the bottom to make it fringe out a little bit and make it like just a little bit more blue but that's it that's a club look and you know if you let it sit on your face long enough this will fade, this will deepen a little bit once it adjusts your skin, and then you can put, I would really love these. I cannot remember where I got these, but you can get these on eBay. If you put these over it, you're going to have blue on top of blue. It's a really neat fantasy kind of look, so I highly recommend that. And uh, that's it, everybody. A little bit of blush combined. Purple, I would suggest on both, but I would play with it. I don't like to wear blush often. And then my newest recommendation for lash is this guy. It's very good lash stiletto. All right, y'all. Ciao, ciao, meow, meow. See you in my next video. Also.